Picture this, after a long, hard-fought season, you finally made it to the spot you've been fighting for for months, the final two. You're mentally exhausted, but you know you've almost reached the finish line. All you have to do is get through a few easy questions, and then it'll all be over. Unfortunately, nothing could have prepared you for the brutal onslaught of jury questions that awaits you. Hello everyone, and today we're talking jury questions, specifically the brutal ones. Some players have had very easy jury question segments, and while that's all fine and dandy for them, it's boring for us. The real entertainment comes when the jurors are angry and hungry for blood, and they really dig into the finalists. So without further ado, let's take a look at the most brutal jury questions in Big Brother history. Also, side note, if you are not subscribed, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers, and that's a really cool number, so if you wanted to subscribe, that would be superb. Thank you. That's it. Wrong answer. All right, to start things off, we have Big Brother 2. After Hardy was able to watch the season through, he was a bit upset with what he saw from Nicole at the end of the game, and he called her out on it in a kind of brutal and accusatory way, and it definitely caught her off guard. Then, not as brutal, but blunt and hilarious, Monica's question to Will was calling him out on him saying that she was stupid in the beginning of the game, and if he still felt like that was true, and it was pretty awesome. You and Will had a conversation. You brought up Shannon's name and said, what would Shannon want you to do? Very interesting. And uh, I just want to, I want you to tell me how you what? feel about turning your back on me and, and doing things that I told you that I would not do to you. I never said that. In the beginning, you called me stupid. Do you still think I'm stupid? I'm not going to pretend at the beginning we got along because we didn't. But at the end, uh, you really proved yourself. Uh, and in my mind, you know, I have nothing but wonderful things to say about you, Manya. Moving along, we know how much the jury hated Allison and June in Big Brother 4, and although some of the questions ended up being much tamer than I expected, the responses to answers by both the jury and June herself were quite brutal and were more than enough to make both finalists feel the heat and discomfort. Whether it was June calling out Allison for using her body to get ahead in the game, or the jurors saying how terrible their specific answers were, there was a lot of bad blood shown in this segment. What makes you more deserving of the grand prize? I did not use um, the powers of persuasion that Allison did. I did not kiss people. I did not crawl into bed with people. I didn't <laughs> holding the title of someone who is maybe more honest and more honorable and more deserving. Hi, June. Was personally attacking each and every person in this house part of your strategy, or do you really feel that way about all of us? Um, I'm sure when I go home and I watch the tapes, I'll see people saying bad things about me, but at least I know that um, I got one or two digs in about everyone else also. Not a good no, answer. Not a horrible answer. answer. That was bad weak. answer. Next up, we have, without a doubt, the best digging into of all time, in my opinion. Marvin in Big Brother 5 was never known for skirting around the line when it came to anything. He was blunt and straightforward, and when he asked Drew his question, it was pretty brutal. But nothing prepared me for the question that he had for Cowboy, which literally made my jaw drop when I heard it. I would do it an injustice to try and describe it myself, so I'm just going to show you the clip. All right, hardball questions, baby. You know I don't play. I know, man. Uh, early in the game, I distinctly remember you saying that Diane was a trailer chick. You wouldn't have anything to do with her outside of the game. And you were more into Lori. To be honest, Marvin, I don't remember saying that. Do you think it's okay to emotionally use and abuse somebody to further yourself in the game? Question for world-famous cowboy. Uh, you tried to vote me out three out of four times I was on the block. Is that because you are a racist liar or a lying racist? Uh, again, I've got two wonderful black nephews and I love every type of race, Chinese, Japanese. I'm not racist. You know, in a way I was hoping you would uh, throw a racist question towards me um, and I've been thinking about this. Next up, we have Chicken George and All Stars and his two questions to the finalists were both brutal but not in the expected way. With Boogie, he asked him if he will propose to Erica just like he did to Krista in Big Brother 2, which is funny but brutal in the sense that it brings up a likely embarrassing memory for Boogie and he made him answer the question that everyone already knew the answer to. And then for Erica, he hit her with the old brutal a disappointment shtick. And I mean, come on, look at the guy. It's like making your parents disappointed. So yes, it's not brutal in the sense of the last few we looked at, but it's kind of brutal in its own right. 
And then congratulations on you two finding the love of your lives. My question to Boogie is this, Boogie. Will you ask Erica's hand in marriage on the live show just as you did with Krista on Big Brother number two? My question to Erica is this. Erica, you kept whispering in my ear, George, you're safe. And then in turn, Erica, you voted me out of the game. How do you think I probably feel at this point? Now, back to the brutality that I am sure you were all looking for. We have Amber in Big Brother 8, who chose to use her jury question to put Danielle on blast for cheating on her boyfriend with Nick. And honestly, it was kind of out of left field for me, and it left me stunned at just how harsh she went in on her. And of course, I can't leave out Jen just saying how she has absolutely zero respect for either finalist, because it's pretty iconic. My question is for Danielle. Why should I give you your vote? considering what you did to your boyfriend on national television with Nick. Honestly, you're a very pathetic person for what you did to him. I just want to know, why should I respect you as a person? If you're going to base your vote strictly on my personal life, I don't want your vote because that has nothing to do with this game. Hello, it's me. I'm actually here. Hey, Jen. I obviously don't. Um, respect either of you as people in the real world. Now, the season that most people don't talk about, Big Brother 9 brought us a whole lot in terms of brutal questions. Many jurors were more than happy to display their displeasure for the two finalists, and whether it be the jury's reaction to Ryan's talk about Jen or how they hated the answers that the two finalists gave, the jury did a real bang-up job, making sure that neither finalist left the question session feeling like they did a good job. So, thank you, Sharon, Chelsea, and Joshua. What are you going to do with the money, Ryan? I want to know what you're going to do with 500 Gs. With the money, um, I'd like to do something nice for Jen and myself. I'll put some money towards a charity. Charity. That's it. That was the worst answer ever. All right, boy. Knowing the fact, after I saw the HOH tape, I saw you look at him, like, make sure you get her out. What was the point of feeding me all of that bull and then turning around and then making sure Adam evicted me? Ryan. Why should I give you $500,000? When what are you gonna do? Are you gonna propose to Jen, who called you out on television as somebody who is a hatred person? I'm confused, do you wanna stay with this person? I still love the girl to death, that's it. Wrong answer. This game is not just competition, and you all know that. Screaming at the TV screen is not gonna help you any. You I know, apologize, you, boat, you know what I mean, but. You, know, you need to talk to us with respect and quit screaming. So quit doing that right off the bat. Okay. And unfortunately, it's around this time that things take a turn for the worse. Jury questions stopped feeling real and organic as they were now all pre-decided upon as a group and felt super boring. Like, come on. We go from every juror being able to come up with their own question for each finalist to the entire jury coming together to handpick six questions, three for each finalist, and most of the time, they're not even good. Like, look at Big Brother 13, for example. There were only four total questions asked two apiece for Rachel and Portia, and they were some BS, like, tell us a strategic move you made. It's just so much worse now, and I feel that much of the fun has been taken away, and jury questions now feel like a formality more than anything else. Luckily, somehow, we still do have a few that I would like to share. To kick off this second part, it's definitely not brutal compared to what we have recently gone over, but in Big Brother 14, Shane calling Dan Satan during his question seemed like all jokes and stuff as it got the crowd laughing, but when you look into it, it's kinda brutal. Dan was very obviously open about his faith, so being called Satan is definitely going to sting, and it's not like Shane meant no malice behind it, as it's been revealed that Shane was very seriously not okay following the events of Big Brother 14, and it took him a really, really long time before he was able to get over what was done to him. He truly felt that the Big Brother 14 crown was his, and Dan taking it all away from him at the Final Four blindside was something that stuck with him probably to this day, so it was definitely a bit brutal. We're good now. And apparently it's the same question that Brittany just asked. Uh, Satan. Oh, I mean, Dan, Dan, Dan. Why do you deserve to win over Ian, man? I mean, yeah, hey, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. I know you're mad at me. Skipping ahead quite a ways, Big Brother 18 is a prime example of how the current jury questioning format is lame. Natalie's pre-written question for Paul could have actually been quite good, except her delivery was so playful and took all of the joy out of the potential digging into them. I just know that if Paul had played back in the early era of Big Brother, that this question would not have been asked in nearly the playful way that it was. Here we go. 
Paul, as a jury, we believe that you are a very good Big Brother player, but that some of the things you said were vulgar and crossed the line. Why should I give you my vote when you didn't give me respect? Ooh, that was spicy. Luckily for us, in what I honestly feel is the best jury question segment we've had in the modern era, we have Big Brother 19. And surprisingly, I'm not even going to mention Josh because this right here is all about Paul. All three questions that Paul was asked had their own varying levels of brutalness. Elena's question about the bullying tactics that Paul used clearly caught Paul off guard. Then we have Alex's question, which had the anger and conviction that had been missing for years and it showed clear, brutal emotion from her. And then lastly, we have Jason's question, which is basically like, yo, come on, Paul, we know you played well, but how could you have been so stupid to think we weren't gonna all talk in jury and find your lies? While all three on their own aren't the most brutal, when you combine them all together, it delivered on making sure that Paul had quite the uncomfortable question session. Uh. Paul, some of us in the jury feel that you orchestrated and participated in bullying tactics in the house. <laughs> Why was that necessary and how did it serve your game? Paul. In your last season, your gameplay was based on friendship. This season, why did you decide to go against that by creating friendships and alliances and then destroying them? Paul, it seems like you made moves throughout the game with the goal of avoiding making enemies in the jury. Why unnecessarily lie to our faces days and hours before we were going to the jury? You had to have known that we would compare notes. Uh, I definitely don't think that I was orchestrating bullying tactics. And lastly, we have the one everyone's been waiting for. It's Big Brother 21. To kick things off, we immediately have Jackson getting called out for being degrading towards women, but little did he know that that was probably the tamest of the brutal accusations he had in store for the night. Later on, actually after the jury questions were concluded, Julie gave the floor to the pre-jurors who each took turns brutalizing the house guests. You have Ovi calling out basically everyone for their bullying behavior and how it was disgusting, and then you have Kemi calling out Jack, Christy, and Jackson for the hateful things that they said about her, and then you have Julie Chen herself informing Jackson that everyone thinks he's racist, which is then followed by David saying that although he didn't think Jackson's motivations were necessarily racist, he did think that there were a lot of implied biases in the house that were put on display. And then lastly, you have Bella calling out Nick for ditching her in the jury house for Kat. Wow, there were a lot of people who had a lot to say, so get ready for a long clip section. This question's for Mickey. Yes, sir. Mickey, some of the women on the jury feel that you were degrading and condescending to them at times. We agree that you played a great game, but we're not sure that we should reward that type of behavior. Ovi, you watched as Nicole was literally shut out of the HOH bedroom by Grateful. So I hope when the house guests watch that back, they understand that the actions they took in that room they did not align with the agreement that we said we'd hold the moral characters. Yeah, I mean, it was extremely disappointing. Um... Jack, Jackson, Christy, and Nick. I'm not exactly sure what your obsession is with me. Um, a lot of the things that were said to and about me and several of the other house guests are completely inexcusable and unforgivable. And I hope that you can leave this experience better people than you came in as. If at any point offended you on a personal level, I'm very sorry. Uh Do you accept the apologies you heard right here, Kemi? Um, I think it's important to understand what you're apologizing for before you apologize. Okay, we'll stick a pin in it for now. You had to banish four house guests. Right. You chose David, Kemi, Jessica, and Cliff. But some viewers thought you did it because Jessica, David, and Kemi are minorities and that you chose Cliff because he is the oldest house guest. Oh. What would you like to say um, to your critics? Absolutely not. And even I had two weeks to think about it. Like, was it minority thing or was it gameplay? It and I came to the conclusion that it was gameplay. You, you Jack, included. Um, there seemed to be in some implied biases. Obi's pointed it out. Kimmy's pointed it out. And you guys will be able to see it and have a chance to talk about it, have a conversation in the future. But I hope you guys are able to become Thank better people as a result of the actions you took Thank in you, the house. Thank you, David. Nick, you told Bella, I'm going to learn Mandarin for you. I love you. And then in the jury, we see a jury mance with Kat. There wasn't anything against Isabella. I wish that nothing got shown. I wanted to talk to her first yeah, and not let her see it, but... Nick? Yes? Final moments. When you made a commitment to me, you know, I said, just please don't make me look stupid. And you made me look stupid. <clears throat> no one deserves to feel that way. 
And quickly, as a little honorable mention, spoilers for Big Brother Canada, although I have shown this on my channel before, so if you've watched my past videos, this shouldn't be a spoiler to you, but we have Peter's jury question to Jillian in Big Brother Canada 1, where he basically makes a fool of her. He calls her out, and he gives her an opportunity, and then he totally dismisses everything she says through his physical responses. It is really one of the most brutal displays I have ever seen. My question is for Villian. <laughs> I believe that you're an idiot and an awful player. Okay. okay. However, you have the opportunity to prove me wrong and earn my vote. All you have to do is be honest. I feel like um, you should take it as a compliment that I wanted to get rid of you. I obviously seen you as moves and I tried to do smart things and I held my own by winning competitions. Okay, thank you. And there we go. Aren't brutal jury questions just so fun? I think in the future, Big Brother should just try as hard as they can to have these jury questions be a bit more personal and try to dig in just for the sake of it, because quite frankly, I don't care to hear back-to-back -back questions of finalist A, why do you think you should beat finalist B, and then vice versa. I want to hear the juice. I want to see him squirm, and yes, maybe I'm getting a bit carried away here with the drama of the show, but come on, I just want to be entertained, that's all. Thank you everyone for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And of course, I need to give an extra special shout out to all of my lovely YouTube members who I admit I would probably go easy on if I was asking them jury questions. But for the rest of you, you're fresh out of luck and I would definitely be bringing the brutal questions. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. Gina Marie, prior to joining the Exterminators, it seemed you didn't make any big game moves. What's your biggest game move other than getting me out? And, uh, um, 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 so I would probably say my biggest game move would have probably getting you out.